Thank you for tuning in to Serendipity with Sheila, the podcast that helps you align your mission with your passion. As a universal master energy healer, Sheila can help you awaken and align with your true self so you can live the purposeful life you were made for. Let's get started. Welcome to Serendipity with Sheila, and I am your host, Reverend Sheila B. Tillich. And today, we're going to talk about the awakening of the light workers. What is a light worker? And what is the awakening of the light worker? My interpretation of a light worker is a person who is awakened to live a life of love, someone who knows there is a higher source a person who wants to help humanity awaken by raising the collective consciousness field to the higher frequency of love and to use their free choices as a human in a loving way. It is a human awakening to their soul's divine spiritual essence. It is a wake up call of who they are and why they are here. It is their soul's purpose and mission in this human lifetime. We are more than our physical bodies. We are spiritual divine beings. And we have many helpers to guide us. We have angels. We have spirit guides, ascending masters, our beautiful ancestors, and our loved ones who have passed on. And yet, still, they are very close by. They may not be seen, however, they most certainly can be felt. They help guide us. They have always been with us throughout all of our lifetime incarnations. They've been waiting for us to ask. Now, many light workers are awakening to their helper's presence and are tapping into this divine light energy. We are called light workers because we live our life living in the light of love. I call this light love energy, helping together find balance and peace and harmony and most of all, compassionate action. As humans, we have free choices. We have choice of love or fear. We have a choice of good or bad. And we have a choice of being in the light or being in the darkness. Many of us are awakening. An awakening of their soul, their spirit as a human. Sometimes this is called the awakening of the old soul. It's a remembrance of the divine essence we possess. The many lifetimes of learning and growing as a soul. The connection of oneness with the universe the connection of love, the connection of light, their light as a soul. This is why I call it the love light. This awakening can be felt in the energy field. We humans have an electromagnetic energy field around us. These is the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual fields that we all have around us. This energy has been scientifically measured and proven to be the consciousness field we have and the consciousness field that we live in. It's our consciousness. What we think is consciousness. Our thoughts go out into our energy consciousness fields. What we think and how we respond is energy. So energy is consciousness. And consciousness is energy in our fields. Many of us are awakening to this field of consciousness and we call ourselves light workers. Here's your sign to register and save your seat for the next Light Workers Connection Circle. The Lightworkers Connection Circle is about living your soul's purpose as a lightworker and connecting with others who are on the same spiritual path. 
It is a sacred and safe harbor group of light workers who are connecting, encouraging, empowering, and supporting human kindness together. The Light Workers Connection Circle is led by Universal Master Healer Sheila Tillich and takes place on the first and third Tuesdays of every month. To save your seat, head on over to SheilaTillich.com slash lightworkers dash connection dash circle. You can also find the link to register in the show notes of this episode. Now back to you, Sheila. Now you may ask, who is a light worker? And are you a light worker? So these are many questions many of us are asking. As we evolve on planet Earth during this time of humanity, many of us are aware of this energy field of the duality of light and dark. This can also be explained as vibrational frequency the fields of higher vibration and lower vibration. The higher vibration as love and light and the lower vibration as dark or evil. It also is sometimes called good and bad. Those brought up with religion know it as God and the devil. There has been so many changes over the last 30 years plus especially in society, and the way many relate to each other. In 1987, there was an event called the Harmonic Convergence. This event was called the first global synchronized meditation event, and it happened October, August 16th and 17th, 1987. Yes, it was in August, not in October. <laughs> Oh, this event was also coincided with an alignment of planets in the solar system. This event is called by an angelic entity called Cryon, the delivery of the light. This event, it was about human choices in humanity. Every human higher self on this planet, their souls said yes to the new deliverance of light. And this started a whole new energy for planet Earth. This new energy is what many are feeling and resonating with at this time and have been since 1987. Lightworkers are highly intuitive and have had many innate wisdom about life since the time they were young. What is innate? Basically, it's your soul's wisdom. Naturally, philosophical, these beautiful light workers, since being very young and spiritual, they seem to know so much for their age. They're often called old souls for the wisdom they naturally come by. They understand that part of their purpose is to revolutionize the way people see their mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health. Many are also healers in some way or another. And many of them are very, very creative in the arts and in their life. Lightworkers are intuitive and are alive for a higher purpose. This is directly related to their own awakening and their own life transformation and their higher purpose to help awaken and transform others by helping to raise the collective consciousness with positive loving energy. This awakening is focused on the God's light within each individual and helping them see their unlimited potential, their power and their healing capacity. This light within is to send their love, their light energy out, radiating loving, compassionate action into humanity's energy field, helping together find peace, balance, 
harmony, and pure love. So you may be asking, are you a light worker? I have a question for you. Are you a sensitive and empathic soul? Are you able to feel others' energy? Are you constantly coming into deeper awareness about yourself and your life and about the choices you make now? Are you on an ongoing journey of awakening? Are you relating in that in your head because you know? Are you feeling goosebumps or God shivers as you listen to this broadcast? I certainly am. Yes, dear beautiful dear ones, you are a light worker. Your soul knows. You are an awakened love light soul. So, dear light worker, come with me. It's time to stand in your mastery as a light worker. Shine your magnificence, dear ones. Shine brightly, your love light for humanity. Let's come together with intention as light workers to do a meditation prayer. I invite you to close your eyes and take a nice deep breath and slowly release it. And take another deep breath and release it very slowly. And another, dear light worker. As we do this, we close out all distractions with the outer world, and we can connect with our inner world. By doing this, closing your eyes, you can connect to a unified field. There's a multidimensional DNA within you that responds to your intent to connect to this unified field of consciousness. In this inner field of energy, we can connect with each other. The rhythm of our breathing synchronizes with each other. The beating of our heart becomes entrained as we do this. The beating of our heart creates a field of heart coherence. We are in heart coherence with each other. And our intent to do this together as light workers, we merge into each other's energy field and make possible that we can connect to our divine essence, our core energy connected to this unified field. By doing this, it supports us. And we are able to plant seeds of benevolent love, seeds of divine peace, joy, harmony, balance, patience, tolerance, understanding, kindness, appreciation, gratitude, and beautiful, beautiful love. These seeds will continue to grow and blossom as beautiful light workers, where we respond in our lives with compassionate action, showing love in action compassionately 
to others, being a lighthouse, showing others our beautiful love lights. And in doing so, you become the lighthouse others are seeking. We, together, radiate this field of love. Be the lighthouse, dear light workers. Live your life showing your compassionate love light, giving hope and peace to humanity. So now, I invite you to slowly come back. Come back to the present and open your benevolent, beautiful eyes, dear light worker. May your magnificent light shine brightly, dear ones. Let it shine brightly. Namaste. Shalom. Amen. And so it is. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending this time with me and for yourself. Any moment we spend healing ourselves is a moment spent healing humanity. And I invite you to join me each week as we dive into topics that will help you align your mission with your passion.